We've also checked police records. Uh, we can't find any evidence where we haven't told them before that there were any police calls to that home for domestic violence related incidents. Uh, Maine State Police does have some contact with Mr. Tolan. Uh, back in 2005, we had some driving, uh, he, had, uh, he was arrested for some driving violations. And I believe within Hancock County Sheriff's Department, there's some minor contact, but nothing that would point to any uh, violence that we gather at the scene today. Um, some of that evidence will be transported to the crime lab in Augusta over the next several days. That process is to support not only the Attorney General's office uh, in their uh, investigation into the use of deadly force, but also for our homicide investigation. Um, three bodies are in Augusta now. Those, those bodies will be examined by the medical examiner tomorrow. Uh, that examination is extremely important because that could tell us how many times those uh, shot and with what caliber weapon that might have been used to, to do that. So that's important to us to help us piece together uh, what happened. We are securing the scene overnight. Uh, we will hold the scene until uh, the results of that the examination of the bodies is, uh, is, uh, is known. And we do that in almost every case to make sure that uh, the evidence that we've gathered at the scene matches the evidence that uh, is obtained through the examination of the bodies and the investigation. Well, at this point, we don't know what made him snap that night. Uh, that's really what we're trying to figure out. There are some dynamics in the family that uh, some of his behaviors of the last few weeks and months have caused some concern within the family. We're exploring those right now to find out exactly what they were. But at this point we have no idea what made him snap uh, last night at 3.30. And when you say dynamics, was it erratic behavior? Yeah, his family, some of his behaviors uh, were causing concern for the family. They were concerned for their safety. As far as what particular behaviors those were, I'm not sure yet. We're still trying to explore that. Obviously, the family's been through a lot, and we're working with them, but we're also very uh, understanding about what they've been through. Do you know if prior to the incident the other night, if the family ever made efforts to try to get counseling or, or help from other agencies in, in dealing with the dynamic? At this point, I don't know that. Uh, we're still, obviously, trying to piece all this together. And uh, again, they've been very cooperative with our efforts to do that. We have a lot of work to do in a lot of different areas as well, so uh, that will come, those discussions will happen, it's just we need to make sure that we know uh, we're in the right place to have those discussions. Uh, is there any indication that, uh, uh, that Mr. Tilden Sr., or the, the elder Mr. Tilden, and, uh, and Mr. Uh, Pinkham uh, might have been armed during the, the incident early in the night and actually exchanged gunfire with, with Leon Tilden? Well, we, we have heard uh, some of the accounts in the press, uh, and again, the scene examination is ongoing, uh, and that's certainly one of the questions that we're trying to answer. Uh, what actually happened that night outside that home? Uh, what caused it? And what initiated that? So again, we're hoping that the, both the examination of the bodies, but also the scene examination, the evidence we gather there will help us answer that question.